Hey, it's been a really good year for crawlers, at least for us. Yes. We've seen a lot of advances in the crawling scene, a lot of cool new designs coming out. We've had a lot of crawlers on the channel this year, a lot. We're even doing a live kit build for a crawler. Yes. That's how much we've liked crawlers this year. I mean, I don't know why. Uh, you would think that it wouldn't make any sense for a guy that flies fast RC jets <laughs> to, to enjoy. Slow down and <laughs> crawl over some rocks real slow, but it's fun. It is fun, it's challenging, and it's just pushes your creativity to try to find new paths to take. Yeah. And it gets you outside, yeah. I love it. Having said that, we're bringing to you our top three, which was a very, very, very difficult choice. Mm -hmm. Top three crawlers for the year of 2019 to help you with your holiday buying guide for Christmas shopping. Let's face it, it's hard to know what's good out there and what's not. And if you follow us regularly, you'll know that if something isn't good at all, we're pretty blunt about it. There's no point to sugarcoat things at this point in our YouTube career at all. So we are here for you. We're just giving you our favorites. And we picked a scale of our favorites starting at about a little over $130 all the way up to over $400 with these top three. So it just depends on what your budget is. Now, if you sat here and said, hey, Nate, tell me your top three in the $400 price point, we could have done that. Oh, of course we could have done that. But we wanted to find something for everybody, yeah, depending so on what your budget is. We kind of picked out three various price ranges and picked our favorite <clears throat> in those price ranges. Yeah. Let's start with our cheapest pick. It was the 118 scale crawlers we had on the channel this year. We had quite a few, but I think our favorite was the last one we did. The pickup. The pickup truck with the pre-installed lights. Oh, the lights look so scale. And the thing about it is, it's the same price as the other two versions of this truck. Now they come, each one comes in a couple different colors. So what we'll do is link this truck down in the description box below because it is, a lightly branded vehicle. It's not something you're very well right. known like Axial or like your Vitera or anything. Red cab, yeah. Anything like that. This is a bit of an off-brand thing, but it's so lightweight and so hobby grade that you're very unlikely to ever break anything. And all of them come with lights, just some are pre-installed and others are not. That's right. And the ones that were installed on this looked like like we said, so scaled. Yeah, they were placed really well in there. It, they look good. And our favorite thing to do with those was actually for me to have one and you to have one because the remote yes. is a little smaller. I can drive it with one hand really well, hold the camera with the other, and we can go drive them together. I think we've ended up with four of them three, this year. Three or four, at I've least I've lost three. track, but we kept getting more and more. We, we really enjoyed the small scale crawler scene. So if you have a budget, a little over a hundred dollars and you're wanting a crawler ready to run this is a good one with a charger and a battery for the truck that's it you're capped out at that price point that is amazing and it's nice too because let's face it in the winter months you're kind of stuck inside sometimes these are great size vehicles to drive indoors really good crawler the next one on our list was definitely my pick because I wanted to find something that was more in the 10th scale. Let's face it, 10th scale is the popular size vehicle for bashing and especially the crawling world. And I wanted to make sure we found a good vehicle that had part availability, that didn't break the bank, and was just as much fun as a higher end crawler. And for that, I chose the Red Cat Racing Everest Gen 7 Sport because that one is $200, ready to run. It's 10th scale, has metal links, it's four wheel drive. You can do a lot of modification with it. That is probably the cheapest, best crawler on the market, in my opinion. But you can spend what, like $50 more? About $80 more. $80 more. You can get like the that. pro version with a lot more like bells and whistles. And yeah. we actually did a comparison video. Maybe if we forget to link it up here, guys, let us know. Um, but. It was, and both are really good vehicles. We have loved ours. And it was so hard to not put our Scout 2 on here. The Gen, Gen 8 Scout, Scout 2. 2. Because. But this is, the Gen 7s are such a good price range. The main focus, the main reason I chose the Gen 7 is because $200, okay? When you get up into the Gen 8 Scout 2, then you're starting to look at a lot of other competition and their competition doesn't have the $200 ready to run crawler that the Gen 7 does have. So 
That's that's why I chose that. 200 bucks and you're in the 10th scale crawling world with a nice hobby grade vehicle. That says a lot. That says a whole lot about that vehicle. We like it. But really, there are a few options. So if your budget is higher, we will link the Gen 7 first, the $200 one that the we sport. love, the Sport. Then we'll do the Pro under that. And if your budget allows, definitely splurge and get the nicer ones. But if you're on a dime, you want to get two or three of them for all the people you care about, go with the Sport. The most expensive, but my favorite crawler that I've touched this year, and I've only driven it once, is my brand new Axial SEX 10 mm -hmm. 1955 Ford F100. What a mouthful of a title of a, of a name <laughs> for a truck. I said That's it a, all though. I'm pretty sure I got it right. I couldn't have done that, so <laughs> let's give you a round of applause for a second. That's a long name, but it's an amazing truck. Oh, it looks so so good. And this I, I, is by far <laughs> our most beautiful RC. I think so. Truck, ground vehicle. Stock. Stock, period. Like, uh, yeah. it looks so good. I, I'm, Except I took the one sticker thing off. That's all that was wrong with that <clears> stock. The one sticker that was on the, the logo back the, wheel. Yeah, all the branding. Yeah, mm -hmm. I, had, I had to go. <laughs> I am a little jealous that this is Abby's truck, but I'm also very, very proud that my wife loves this so much that she would fight me over this. Yeah, it's mine. I saw it first, I claimed it, it's mine. Yeah, and I'm just happy it's in possession of one of us. You know, if I can't have it, I'd like it to be yours. And it's an Axial <laughs> SCX 10 2. There's a ton of spare parts for it, a ton of modifications you can do to it, upgrade right. parts. I mean, the possibilities for an axial stock vehicle with upgrading it are endless. So mm -hmm. I have some ideas. I don't know if I have the skills to pull it off. Oh, we're gonna try. But boy, we're gonna try. <laughs> this is, in my opinion, some people, and I, I think you get this if you have more than one crawler. I think once you pass that more than one RC stage, you get your shelf queen. And this is the ultimate shelf queen. That truck, is just beautiful to look at. It's one that you're gonna buy, enjoy the unboxing unboxing experience because it is wonderful. Charge those batteries, take it out. When you see mud with this truck, I yeah. think I think it's one that you're gonna avoid the mud <laughs> with. Yeah, uh huh. And, and then you're gonna come back home and you're gonna get the, the air compressor out and you're gonna blast all the dust and dirt off and then you're gonna set it on the shelf and you're gonna say, I drove that. Yeah. And every time you walk by it, you're gonna say, I could drive that if I wanted to, but just look at it. You know, I don't know if it's available, but maybe we can buy you just the pre-painted body and you can put it on one of your old oh, SCX And then it's a better shelf queen. And then we have two shelf well, queens. Well, we're gonna have to look into that. Queen and a king. Regardless, <laughs> this one is linked in the description box below and it belongs in your collection. This is one to be proud of on the shelf probably front and center on the display, a talking piece when your friends come over, or you can just be proud of it on your own. In fact, one of our friends has talked his wife into allowing him to set it out as a Christmas decoration because oh, yeah. he has put a Christmas tree in the back of it. That's a good idea. And he says he's gonna mod it and paint it red. Every year he gets to put it out in the living room instead of tucked away in the corner in the right. garage. <laughs> no need for a Hobby Lobby truck display. Put your real RC truck on display. Such a I good like idea. That. That's cool. Well, I think that we've pretty well covered a vast uh, choice of vehicles price-wise. They're all amazing and they're gonna be fun no matter what your budget is. If you're a plane guy or a drone guy and you just stumbled across this video, treat yourself, do yourself a nice favor to you. You work hard, get yourself a crawler. If you're unsure about which route you wanna go, just check out all the links in the description box below. Open them all up and compare them. You okay with a small crawler that you could drive inside and outside for only 130 bucks or so? Maybe you want to go bigger and get that 10th scale feel. Trust me, it's a very different world. Oh yes. Or you want to just go all out and take our word for it and just get that nice, sweet shelf queen Ford pickup truck. Mm -hmm. That's so awesome. They're all linked below. Hopefully we were able to help you guys out, make it a lot easier on your shopping experience this year. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you in the next video. Bye.